Kim apartment. Don't need your eyes. Kim. My mom would love to see. What's so funny? Wait. Blouse. Hey guys, my name is Lynn Kate and I am here staying at Y Hotel. It is a pop up. So Y Hotel rents out luxury apartments until they are ready to be filled up and you get a full kitchen and they have everything you need to cook, forks, knives, everything, pots. So the apartment I'm staying in has two rooms and they're very spacious, definitely better than a hotel. They actually have a washer and dryer too. So this is one of the rooms, it's very spacious. This has a little view of outside and a little balcony. And right next to that room is a bathroom with awesome lighting. And then the bathtub over here. This is the living room. Super, super spacious and very comfortable like I'm in my own home. This is my dream apartment, first apartment. And it has a really nice view. You can actually see the monument all the way over there. I'll zoom in later. And it has a little desk so you can work if you need to. A little dinner table and a really nice view. Now if you come over here, we have the master bedroom. It has a big window as well, a nice comfy bed, a walk-in closet that leads to the master bathroom. And it has a huge mirror, his and hers sinks. It has the shower and also a bathtub. All right guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the room tour at White Hotel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on our way to DC, Washington DC. We have two more hours and we're super excited because we love DC. You love DC too. I said we love DC. Oh. <laughs> what, what did you think I said? I thought you said she loves DC. No, we love, I like, freaking love DC. Love if I could DC. move there, I would, but maybe in the future, I don't know. But yeah. I don't do well when people cry. Like, I don't know. I feel so helpless yeah. that I really don't know what to say. I don't want to say it'll be okay because obviously you don't be okay. This wasn't nobody broke our heart, but we were heartbroken. Bye. <laughs> But if he can't fuck three times a night, he's Wait, like I wanna start over, I wanna get a new family, new friends What? <laughs> can't take back the love that I gave you Welcome to my casa My name is Lynn Kata Hi guys, this is Lynn Kata Well, I will be having sex off Oh my god Igoroga, cocaina my name is Lynn Kate and I am here staying at so Erica and I are going to go get our nails done. We're walking to the nail salon. It's legit around the corner. Cute. I've been all in my bag. You been all in my business. Hey guys, it is day two. So last night I just went to dinner. Cava Mez, I think it's called. It was delicious. It's in Arlington, Virginia in Clarendon. And it was amazing. I loved the calamari, the opa opa shrimp. And what else did we get? Oh, the lollipop chicken was good. They're all shareables. The first drumstick that I got was really good. And then I kept eating like the seafood that I had. And then I went back to chicken. I was like, oh my God, no, like chicken. I'm done with chicken. Not really, but you know what I mean. So it is 1220 and we are getting ready to go out. It is raining, unfortunately. It's going to rain 
all day. We're going to go to Don Tito's for brunch. It's still in Arlington, Virginia. And then we're going to head on over to the African American Museum. I think that's what it's called. Um, I've been there before. My friend has it. My friend has actually been to DC plenty of times and she's been to almost all the museums. But I haven't been to all the museums. I've been to the Space Museum. I think I've been to the Holocaust Museum. I'm not a museum type of girl. So just in case you guys don't know, I am staying at Y Hotel until Sunday, until I go back to New York City, and I really don't want to go back. Because I just love DC. I love DC so much. I wish I could move here, but I don't have family here. I do have like a few friends here, but like I don't have family. I don't have close friends here. I don't have, like, I don't really have a foundation here, and I'm young, and know I can move, like, anywhere and, like, move back home if I want, but New York is where it's at for me, so, I don't know, we'll see. I will show you guys an outfit of the day. It's very simple, you guys know I'm a very simple girl, but I'm gonna show you guys an outfit of the day when my makeup is all done. Anyways, I hope soon, in the next couple of years, I can live in an apartment like this. They're so expensive, especially in New York City. Like, the one in D.C., like, these apartments are expensive to live in, to, like, actually rent, not for hotel purposes, but to actually rent, they are very expensive. I mean, like, you have an amazing view. You have really big windows, which is a must for me. Good lighting, a nice kitchen. That's what I want. That's, that's what I want. This is my makeup. Very natural and simple. The lighting is not good, but this is my outfit of the day. Just a green little shirt, it's long sleeve, black pants, and these boots. You've been to Canada, right? Yeah, yeah with you. This, they remind you a little bit of a Canada. A little bit. Toronto. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just hungry as hell. It's 2 o'clock. Who are we? We haven't ate since <laughs> last night. Wait, we, we did the same shit yesterday. We ate breakfast and then we didn't eat till like yeah. nine. My, I think that's when my head Your hurts friend was so like, much. Are you guys on a diet? <laughs> on a diet? She we're like, she yeah, she asked us that. We're like, no, we're just stupid. <laughs> pillows are weird to me. Like, I just can't get used to different pillows, just like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're on our way to Don Tito's. Like I said before, in Arlington, Virginia. It's two p.m. I guess I remember I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. Why? I don't know, I had the giggles. <laughs> I could tell I was annoying you. Because I, I was like, oh, you were opening a car and I was like, <laughs> you were like, what's so funny? Oh, you, you don't, don't fit there? I do. I you don't think I do? Hell no. Ask this guy if he's leaving. So we just parked and we have arrived at Don Tito. You be all in your feelings. I've been all in them trenches. I've been all in my bag. You be all in my business. No, they notice me flexing. Fit in all in my fitness. I've been all in my We're done with lunch. <laughs> Late lunch, I guess. It's like three. No, it's almost like four. And um, we're not going to make it to the museum, so we're gonna go shopping. Oh, that just tells you to wait. You never heard that? Hey guys, it's like. 9 p.m. and we're on our way to get dinner because we only had Don Tito's earlier and that's it. I don't know why we're like not Oof. eating. <sighs> Smells like curry. Anyways, we're on our way to hot and juicy crawfish in Falls Church. Oh my! What? <laughs> and <laughs> this thing's in here. <laughs> Okay. You be all in my business. You be all in your feelings. 
I been all in them trenches uh, I been all in my bag uh, You be all in my business uh, No, they know this We just finished Oh, I feel like throwing up Bitch, don't say that Because I'll throw up by the idea of throwing up <laughs> Really? Maybe, I don't know I haven't got there yet What's your hidden talent? Porn <laughs> I know her hidden talent. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm blind without being blind. <laughs> yes, that's exactly. Watch. Yeah, I'm a big one. There's something coming. I knew there was oh. something. Well, people at the bar are like, what's wrong with that bitch? <laughs> I can't believe she actually pretends to be blind, so she closes her eyes and she goes around her house trying to do normal shit. That's normal, though. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> I actually don't want to go out, but I want to put myself out there. I want up. But I want to go out to put myself out there. Bitch, I saw my shadow. I thought it was a rat. Damn, remember that's what morning. We still have sleep. Um. Morning. It's like 12 p.m. and it's really not morning, it's but too we, early for us. it's too early. Um, we're going to get like a smoothie, a coffee, something light for breakfast, and then we're going to go to the African American Museum, finally, and then we're going to go to Georgetown. No, that would be a good title though. Then we're going to go to George. Oh. Then we're going to go to Georgetown, and then we're going to go ice skating, and then we're going to go get massages. And this is our last day. Tomorrow we go home really early, which I'm dreading because I'm not a morning person. I am. What time did you wake up? All of my fitness, my chain dance on my head big, my top heavy, I let it down. See me shining, they hating on me, they mean mugging, I let them down. She call me poppy, I'm popping now. Hoes happy, I'm hopping now. Money talks on the only thing these broke boys should be talking about. They talking greasy, we eating healthy, we getting wealthy, you see. We arrived to the National Museum. What? National Museum. Museum. <laughs> Museum. National Museum, Museum of American, African American History. I said American. National Museum of African American History. So we just got to Georgetown. I freaking love Georgetown. And we're just going to do some shopping here. But Georgetown is beautiful. We to go to the George, uh, doc What? <laughs> The Dr. Martin store. I've been wanting these shoes. Back then I blew her off. She salty now. She can't be the missus. My pot is country like cornbread. In the city plot and no long bread. These niggas out here going broke. Trying to do the shit that they song said. I'm a once in a lifetime flex. Never leave lifeline six. Oh my goodness. So I bought a shoe from Dr. Martin's. I'll show you guys a little haul later on or maybe when I get back to New York on everything that I bought. But I bought these Dr. Martin boots, I think they are, in the color olive and they are amazing. But I'm really like spending a lot of money. I need to stop. Hello. Now back home, well not home, but back at the hotel and I am going to show you guys, sorry, my pants are like super tight i'm unbuttoning them all right so the first thing i got is from swarovski i got a ring it's so cute right signed up for their rewards program i got these free earrings because my birthday was a couple of weeks ago so they gift you something for your birthday like sephora kind of but i like their earrings so that was cute and then we went to zara and i got a few things a few shirts a few tops i got this nice little shirt i got this nice little blouse i had to get a basic t-shirt because i just love hanging out in like just a nice cozy t-shirt i got this cozy sweater this sweater is the definition of cozy it's long sleeve obviously it's a sweater and it's a velvet material this sweater is also cozy as well but it's more of like a not it's not like a dress up type of sweater but it's just nice it has a turtleneck and the fabric is very very soft so what i got from swarovski and zara was yesterday we went to the pentagon city mall in arlington and today we went to georgetown like you guys saw and i got a few things from francesca's cardigan i guess you can say 
or a vest because it doesn't have any sleeves. I don't know how to show you guys. Oh, maybe I, I should wear it to show you guys. So it just goes around like this. And I just thought it was simple and cute to wear with like a long sleeve shirt, black, gray, or like white. Not with this because this is more of like very chill type of vibe. This is more like cozy, dress up a little bit. Got this button down. But it's very casual and I like the color. I also got this simple, plain, basic bodysuit. Nice little earrings. I feel like they're very elegant. They're simple though. I like simple gold jewelry. I don't like anything crazy. Then I got these earrings for a more like elegant look. Every time I'm in Georgetown, I go to... <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm... <laughs> Why you smile like that? Every time I'm in Georgetown, I go to the Nike store because they have really good shoes in there. So I just got these simple sneakers. They're just honestly very simple. And they looked cute on me. I got these beautiful boots. I thought they were going to be very heavy, but they're actually very light on your feet. So they're so cute and they're very warm. We got the goods. Let's. So basically it was a false alarm however this happened at three in the morning i didn't wake up right i don't know but i hit the shit out of you by accident i think that's when my heart was pounding i was like Hiya! i got you didn't hear it because i heard it and i like i literally woke, like i woke up 20 minutes before so i'm pretty sure i was hearing stuff like of something going on but i really couldn't figure it out oh maybe they knocked on our no well, I, I don't, I'm a heavy sleeper. I I'm barely not. woke up with the, the alarm was loud and it was in our room. I, well, I think it's in every room, the little fire alarm. It kept saying, what what did it kept saying? It said, this is an emergency. Please get out the building. This is an emergency, but it wouldn't stop. That, that drove me crazy. This is an emergency. Please get out the building. I was really dead asleep. And then I think she woke me up like, <laughs> and I'm so slow when I wake up. I was slow. You came in the closet, you stared, and I was like, hurry up. I didn't want to go out by myself because I kept hearing things during the night that I was like, no, I'm not going to the hallway by myself. I was like, I gotta put my pants on. I'm very slow when I wake up, especially like in the morning, even though it's not morning, it's night. But I'm very slow when I wake up. So I was like, what? And I, that thing was loud, but I still, I still didn't register that it was really an emergency. Then we went out, and I think I. I don't think I recorded the part. You guys rang on the door because I was really nervous and I was on the phone. But we left our apartment and the the hall, like th there were doors blocking the hallway, like two doors blocked us from getting to the elevator. The and stairs. there was no stairs in our side and we were all pushing on what, well, I wasn't pushing. I was trying to keep my calm, calling the police, telling them that we're on the 13th floor and we're stuck. Um, while they were pushing the door, we, we were with this one other girl. She was Asian. She was young too. She was alone, now that I think about it. Oh my god, where was she? That's a little... I don't know, maybe I would've came alone too. Wow, if I would've came alone, I would've shitted, I would've shitted myself. No. Anyways, we literally... How did you figure it out? Figure what out. So there were two doors blocking us to get to the elevator or the staircase, and then we were they were only pushing on one door, and then the other door... I pushed both doors. Oh, you were pushing both doors? I pushed both doors. doors. And they both they, they were both open. Oh, I thought we were that when the I think it was only activated when the uh, on the other side it opened, which is so creepy because we kept asking people to open the door for us. You know what? That guy probably heard us and he said he probably thought something was going on on our side, which is why he didn't come, which is why he felt the guilty downstairs and told the lady in the front desk something was going on by thirteen hundred. Oh, he was too. He probably I would have been scared. You know the you know in my in my little head. I was like, what if the people that are going to come help us are, like, the shooters? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the story. That's it. Bye, guys. That's it? It's not that simple. It was fucking petrifying. Let them know.
He was impressed. You were scared. I was just trying to think positive. I was like, it's probably false. No, but honestly, when that when the guy came over and when you guys were calling for help, I was like, no, really. What if like there's a shooter and oh he's coming God. to get us? You know, I wonder if that guy knew her. The guy that opened the door for us. Mm, the Asian girl? Yeah, because he was like smiling and I was so confused on why he... Why was he smiling? He was... He wasn't like, are you guys okay? He was just more like... He looked... Do you remember he looked No, in? I don't know who it was. I don't know. It was some like Caucasian guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, He like kind of looked in and then he was like smile... Like a la I don't want to say laughing because he wasn't laughing. Was he like, was it like an evil smirk? Like, <laughs> you guys are on the other side. <laughs> you fucking losers. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we built the wall. <laughs> um, I don't remember. I just remember him kind of like smiling. And I was like, why is, why is, he, why is he laughing at my torture? That's creepy. If I, if I see someone smiling. And like, what pissed me off was that he like tucked his head in. Like, he didn't automatically just open the door. Maybe he was drunk. I'm supposed to go to sleep. I bet you we might as well just drive to New York. Tonight? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow we are going back to New York City. Very early in the morning, so I really won't be vlogging. So I'm going to end the video here. And thank you so much, Y Hotel, for always letting me stay at their hotels, at their pop-up hotels, whenever I come to New York, to, not New York City, to DC. I appreciate it so much. I love staying at their hotels, so go check them out. The link will be in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, bye.